Hello, hello, praise God, praise God. Good afternoon. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I just want to get up on here real quick and just tell you what thus said the Lord. God says that you're in a season of testing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But he says, stay in position because he will fight for you. Let me tell you something. Every true Christian, and we're talking about the remnant, because God is bringing forth the remnant in this hour like never before. That's why you've been going through. That's why you've been being tested. That's why it's been hard. That's why people have left you. That's why it seems like, oh my God, where are even you? Come on somebody, hallelujah. God is allowing you to be tested so that your faith can be strengthened. You see, you can't tell nobody nothing if you ain't been through nothing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. If you have a million dollars in the bank and, and, and that life is just so perfect, who can you minister to? You don't hear what I'm saying. You don't have a testimony without a test. You don't have a tribulation without a trial. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God took me on here to tell you, hold on and be strong. No, 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 no. This is not just no anytime work. This is a dream of work. This is when you get into the Bible. This is when you fast. This is when you pray because this kind come out but by fasting and prayer. Praying. That's why it's been so hard. Come on, somebody. And when it gets hard, you have to understand that the process gets harder. So you got to really dig in there. Get on your face. Get on your face. And guess what? You got to come from among them. I, say, I hear you, Lord. Come from among them, says the Lord. I'm not saying you acting like you all that. I'm not saying acting arrogant. But I, I don't know if you have too much, as, much to lose as I do. I don't know if you know where you're going. But I know what my destiny is. I don't know if you've been through what I've been through. So, so you have to be careful of who you attach yourself to. Because if some people ain't got nothing to lose. Oh, I'm going here. See, Judas... Don't understand. He had an assignment. God picked him as one of the 12 on purpose. Oh, I'm going somewhere today. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Let me tell you something. It's not by a coincidence or a chance that you have picked some of the people you have picked to be friends with. It's a reason. But I'm going to tell you right now. Sometimes you ought to just look at him and I, thank you. Thank me for what? Oh, oh, you know what you did when you did, how you did what you did. But I, I thank you anyway because guess what? It drew me to God. It made me stand strong. And I ain't even mad at you. Hallelujah. You got to turn that thing around because some of you are getting frustrated. Some of you are getting tired. Some of you are getting bitter. God says that you got to get better. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Every test, every trial, it is bringing you closer to your destiny, closer to your worship, or closer in worship. I told you before, your worship is your worship. It is through the worship. See, too many preachers, I knew you was going to make me say it. Let me tell you something. They talking, they ain't saying nothing. Because anybody can preach about prosperity, this, that, make you feel good for about five or ten minutes. But honey, tell me how to stay safe. Tell me how to midnight hour when I'm lonely and I want a man or a woman. Don't play with me today. Hallelujah. Tell me how to stay safe. Tell me how to endure. Tell me how to pass temptation. Tell me how to pass lust. Tell me, hallelujah, how to stay holy, be holy, striving towards perfection, said the Lord, hallelujah. Tell me, teach me that, because this is my life. Don't play with my lifeline. Don't play with me, hallelujah. Y'all let too many people play with y'all. You can't play. You can't play with my spirit, because this is all I got. See, money, things, that can go any way, any, any day. Come on, somebody, anything can happen. But your spirit, oh, that is all you have. Your anointing, protect it. Don't neglect your, your spirit, your anointing. So too many people doing it. Too many people running after this, this, that. You better run after God with all your heart. Don't follow me, follow God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. And, and stop being discouraged. I feel it. I feel it. I know it's hard testing right now. I know some of you don't know how you're going to pay your bills. I know some people have betrayed you. I know some of you don't even understand what the pastor preaching these days because they ain't preaching. Oh, I don't, I, I'm not jealous. Y'all know what time it is. They're not preaching. Everybody want to be a star. Everybody want to be a, a brand themselves. Everybody want to be famous. You don't feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Not like you used to. Too many people is entertainment. Don't entertain me. Keep me safe. If you can't tell me the truth, then you ain't preaching anyway, pastor, preacher, teacher, bishop, apostle. What you doing for real? <laughs> Hallelujah. So I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I just came from church, and you already know I'm on one. And um, <laughs> God is so good because um, I feel God doing a new thing in my life. And it's pushing you closer. You know, a, a lot of people didn't understand, and, and I didn't understand, honestly, when God was taking me back around. I said, God, what is you doing? He said, I, I'm teaching you something because where I'm taking you, you're going to have to be a servant first. I just said something. 
Because some of y'all just want to go straight to the, uh, up to the top and, and you want to be a star. Jesus was a servant. Jesus was humble. Jesus, he sucked no reputation. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. We have a body of Christ that everybody wants to be praised. Everybody wants to be, uh, you know. But it's in your humbleness that God will promote you. It is in your quietness that you can hear. It is in your fasting and praying that you can see and hear. where well, you ain't got to run after people what the law is saying. God will tell you himself what he's saying. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm just telling you because I love you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And one thing I loved about Jesus, he told you the truth because he loved you. He said, I call you friends. Hallelujah. So I pray that you just keep holding on, being strong, getting your word. Y'all better quit listening to these fake preachers. They're taking, they're taking most people to hell. It's the, I'm serious. It's the masses. Get in a relationship with God yourself. Learn to know the voice of God. Learn his will. Learn his way. Learn who he is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Please tag and share. And I appreciate you guys. And I love you guys through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's do it. Roll our soldiers for that is who we truly are. Mm, who playing?